and so we get back to the idea of <clears throat> your skin will soak it up you wash the rest of it off in the rinse in the shower later on all the sticky stuff the alcohol just goes right into your system it's no big deal Don't you see? One of the first signs of alcoholism is being embarrassed about the things you do. So all you have to do is go, it's no big deal. Ha! You're not an alcoholic. Ta-da! Funny. Like there's anything wrong with being an alcoholic. The one thing there's wrong with is being an asshole. If you're an asshole before you're an alcoholic, you're an alcoholic and an asshole for life. But the idea of uh, carbon monoxide binding to hemoglobin and the free radicals and all of this stuff, thinking about, we're talking about uh, longevity if you want to live a longer, healthier life, I, I, you can live forever with what they've got going on now. But is it going to be any good? You can find a way to go on on your own. You know, smoking and drinking is all that I do. I think I heard on the radio today that Ozzy was in the hospital. But you know what? You can't even hold that against him. Whatever he got coming to him, he brought to himself. That's success. You can't make me feel guilty about this now. But I think about how in the, in the Andes, where there was less oxygen, that's what I'm saying about the cut the carbon monoxide binding to the hemoglobin and not letting the oxygen in and the fact that the oxygen gives people cancer anyway if you burn too much of it, free radicals and all that. But what they found, this was all related. I don't make this stuff up. If I could make something like this up, I would probably either write a book or get a YouTube channel. I would try to go convince somebody of something, but this is just what I see. This is just what I see. And they're up there in the Andes in South America, some of the longest living individuals. Why? Because they're living up there where there's no oxygen. They just, there's no oxygen. And when I look back at my Judge Martin, he was smoking cigars right up till they told him he couldn't. And when they said, you can't smoke cigars anymore, which he fought for the longest time, they kept saying it. He stopped smoking cigars and he died. Why? Too much oxygen. <laughs> You'd think if God really did create this place, oh. There wouldn't be so much oxygen and we'd have a lot less cancer. <laughs>